Right here, so today I'm going to show you a YouTube video on how to um, install Kodi on your iPhone. And the only thing you'll need is obviously an iPhone, iPod, or I iPad, and a Mac. Any kind of Mac, to be quite honest, will be okay. So, what first thing you want to do is, is just go to your web browser. So there's a few links here that I've just got you hooked up with. So you need to bring your Apple ID into this page, the link is here. You need to go to this page and sign in. I've already gotten a, a developer account with this, so it should be just go straight in for me. But for you, you'll just need to uh, agree to uh, a few agreements, basically. So I'm just going to click sign in. So when you sign in, and you've officially got a developer account. So after you've done that, you need to go to this link here. And this is the coded package thing. So you're just going to go to the latest coder. So latest one's 16.1. So I'm going to click that, and it's installing. My internet speed's kind of slow today. And then next thing you need to go is to li this link here, and you need to download iOS App Signer. So you just want to press download button, and it's still downloading. That downloaded kind of fast. So the next step will be here. Go to the Mac App Store. So you need to go here and click Xcode. Well, type it in first and click it. I've already started installing it still installing this will probably take a while since my internet speed today is very very low so that's installed you just want to open it and it's here so you want to do is now you want to click this one create new Xcode project and then there's all these, and you gotta go for what's just been selected, single for your application. And then you can call this technically anything. So I'm just gonna call it iPhone Cody. It can literally be anything, guys, it does not matter. So, organization, um, browsing, media, literally anything. <laughs> Dot com slash brand. Media. This is going to be set to Swift, Universal, and Next. And you're going to create it on your desktop. It can literally be anything, guys. It can be set on your desktop. So what you want to do is now is get a USB lead. So I'm just going to connect my phone straight to my computer. I just realised, guys, I accidentally plug it into my computer, not my Mac. So plug this into your iMac or MacBook, whatever Mac device you're using. So I've just plugged this in straight into my Mac now. And then you want to go here and you want to click your device. And it'll say no, pro no provising profiles found, click fix issue. Then you want to use that one choose you want to go here preferences so you put the accounts already there so that's it and after I'm just gonna go to the next step now so it, this all depends what software where you're on so mine's on 9.3 so after you've done that you just want to close this and then you want to go to iOS app signer that you should have downloaded if not play back so skip because this there's a new version but I'm just not gonna go with it because I'm doing this. So you're gonna input file. So I'm gonna click that, browse. Desktop. I'm gonna click that one. Open. So sign in certificate. This is with your account obviously. So you wanna click that one. Because that's my profile. An app display name. So I'm just going to call this Cody. Because it is Cody. Cody. Yeah, just keep it as Cody. It can, that can be literally anything. You could call it like Cody 16.1 or something. So I'm going to have this save into our desktop. So it's just going to make all this stuff unpacking data. And it's just going to just basically compress an actual file that you're going to use so I'm just going to do a little time lapse and I 
Okay guys, so that's basically done. So what you want to do is, is go back to Xcode. So when you go back to Xcode, you're going to click Window. You're going to click Devices. You're going to click your device, obviously the iPhone or what's plugged in. You're going to click Plus and you're going to go to your desktop and you're going to find the file. That's what basically just been done. So this is an IPA file. Click Open. And then I'm going to do another time lapse. Okay, so it says code is installed. So now we're gonna go to. Okay, guys, so now we're gonna unlock the device. And there you go, code is there. But when you try and click on it, it'll say untrusted developer. So what you wanna do is, is go to settings. Where it's general, I think. Device management. Click that. And click trust. And trust again so it's trusted now and Cody should be on there so Cody is officially installed and it's here so when you so if you're new to Cody as you know you need to have add-ons so what an add-on is is basically to watch moves and stuff I have my own personalized builds so basically when I put a build on it basically just like gives me up menu so I'm just gonna quickly add one and I'm gonna show you after so now guys, I've added a build. I haven't added my own build because it took kind of a while to add your own. So I've just used one called Paradox. So um, we're just gonna test some of this out. So let's go to movies. Bear in mind, I have got a big phone, but when I try and like tap on things, I still kind of struggle a little. So we could just try anything to be quite honest. Any film. Bear in mind, my internet is very, very slow today, so I don't know what it's going to be like at all. Yes, it's working, so this is going nice, guys. I'm just going to skip it a little. You get the point, anyway. Anyways, so that's the film and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.